all right. Ha <laughs> ha! It's time. So excited. So goddamn excited for this. <sighs> oh, hi, Umaga. You're gonna be an action leader. Bum bada bum 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 bada. How's am I doing today? Uh, that's a spoiler. So I'm not gonna say who I forgot to re-download. But <laughs> if Nathan gets back with me, you know. <laughs> In the gauntlet. <laughs> if not, debuting another day. <laughs> if I knew how to spell. I say, help me out on it quick. Yes, one of those two are dying today in the main event. So we'll see what happens there. <sighs> All right. Howdy, howdy. I saw Arrow was the first one in here. Same time we go, Knuckles right there. SSP opening. Ezra, I was I was said SSP twice. Sorry, huh? Koyo, hi. Welcome to the chaos. <laughs> Ryan and Splendid. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Cherry too. Uh, you didn't miss nothing. We just started. We haven't even. I haven't even loaded in the first match yet. But the first match, gonna be a bloody one. Because the first match of the show, when it finishes loading, L O U S, I'm back, is the demon versus, I guess, the former demon? Friend? Ally? Sonic vs. Knuckles. Yeah, get rid of that. There we go. Alright! I love this guy! And here's comes the first one. Knuckles. Not yet seeified anymore. But this could be his toughest challenge yet. I always forget he has a tail. In the vehicle and shutting the door. Let's see if he can take advantage of this match's extreme nature and do whatever it takes to Who win. Who will be the one to leave in an ambulance? That's not Coffin K's entrance. What do you mean? Wait, is this Coffin K's entrance? Okay, that didn't save. Oh well. <laughs> that part didn't save. I can change it after this. A competitor with oh, well. share of detractors, but he wants to prove them all wrong here tonight. It's fine. Yes, yes they are on standby. <laughs> They're gonna need to be on standby. And out comes the one who put him in an ambulance before all of this. And here he comes. The demon E at E. The man that caused Taurus and Mace to both live today by breaking up Mace's submission. And his opponent. Yeah. From parts unknown. Oh, hi, Wogan. You're here, dude. 228 pounds. E at and here he he comes. No, no one wants to play with you. You're scary. Like I feel like you're scary you with the pants. I don't know how that works, but I feel like it just does. I don't understand that part. But how we got here, oh boy, Knuckles was a part of ENT's crew. 
but he was faking it. Of course, ENT wouldn't kill him, but when ENT found out he was faking it, he chased him through the woods. And there was a little live cop station going on, in a way. With Machi and Chompers trying to find Knuckles before he bled to death in the woods somewhere. Luckily, they found him in time. But Knuckles definitely ain't gonna forget about that. No, no, he looks cool with pants. Okay, to be fair, it is a little uncanny with it, but I kind of like it. It kind of fits. I'm going to be honest. I kind of find it that between 2K23 and 24, he got an entire change. <laughs> ah! I just elbowed my desk! <laughs> Ow! I know where to hide it. Closer every second. Et, can you finish your entrance anytime now? I just said, I wonder if you guys heard me hit my desk. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> If you just hear the gluk. I wonder how bloody this match is gonna end up being. Very probably. I, I feel like this match is gonna last a while. I think this might actually be the longest entrance out of any character. Which I've been thinking, I wonder how short you can make an entrance. Like, what's the shortest you can make it? And he... The following contest and the referee backing up ambulance the ambulance. Match. Is that Charles? There I think that's Charles! Submission, disqualification, or count -out. The only way Ooh, to collision. Is, superstar is that close? Their opponent that's cool. Into the ambulance. Here are the rules. You can read it. After closing both doors, the remaining superstar. But basically, do whatever you can to put him in the ambulance, and that's the winner. Now let's see what happens. Who will come out on top? And we are off with the ramp camera and everything, baby. Let's go. And ENC already trying to throw him towards that ambulance to put him in there. He wants to waste no time trying to put him away. I hope we have some extra paramedics on hand. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Oh no. Is, oh god. And already bringing out weapons and nothing that can happen. The heavy shots to the head. That was a vicious display. You can almost the greatest the puncher in the world. He turns it around. Does he get out? Ooh! Chop to the throat in a second one. Using his whole body as a weapon. Oh, jaw shattering. Corey, we know the goal of this match, but what exactly is the strategy, if there is any, when it well, comes to the match? match. <laughs> like I said, using every part of his body as a weapon. Job done, things are not going to look pretty. What is he doing here? Dragon just, just slamming his head. He, he ETC wants blood. Wow. And he's taking on a And that's what he's trying to get from Knuckles. He got tired of being pushed around and gets out of the advantage now. Knuckles can't grab him. Well, that's news to me. Tried three times in a row, but ETC is just too strong for him. It wasn't the higher distance that caused the damage, but ETC so far is fork chosen. Oh my god, Kendo oh just repeated oh shots. Oh Knuckles oh finally able to get away. It already pulling out the brass knuckles, knocking ETC out.
trying to get into the ambulance. Oh but I guess a little bit too many shots to the head. You got a little confused. They know where to go. Mounted with punches and not. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. They <laughs> they will not get away from this ambulance. They want them to see it the entire time. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's searching for something. Knuckle is now getting a weapon of his own, and the classic. A steel chair, old reliable. Wayne for him to get up. Ooh, and a shot to the bag, getting some revenge for everything ET has done to him. Both of them missing their shots, but Knuckles looked like probably laying on his knee badly, couldn't get up fast enough. Two-chair engage, put him in the body bag, Knuckles! Come on, Nux! Oh, and that sledgehammer again! I can see what ETC's weapon of choice and just repeated shots to the ass! Very effective! Ooh, finally lands that, like, jumping clothesline! Repeated shots to the X of Sonic and Knuckles power makes EXC bleed first. I saw you kill. I saw you. Yeah, we started with this. And Knuckles wants to end this. Single leg drop kick caught him. I saw you there. The demon's bleeding. He's heading up top, thinking big. Heading up top after that one-legged drop kick. And a, the spin dash. Knuckles has seen that too many times to get hit by it. Tries to throw him. ETC reverses and just throws him right out of the ring. He leaves the ring and there's no count outs in this one. Lifts him up, thinking of putting him in the ambulance and just... The lows of in. Knuckles glitching out in there. What Knuckles was happening? And ENT tries to end this right now, but can he do it? He gets the first one closed. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is ENT actually going to put him away? Knuckles struggling with all his might to try and get out of this one, and he does. Miraculous. And Knuckles once again jumping on him and just knocking him out with those punches. Knuckles is pissed. And now throwing ETC in there. Come on, Knuckles. You are the stronger one here. Use everything you got. He's got the first door. Can Knuckles put him away? He's struggling. He's shaking. I don't think he has the power to do it. Oh, and ETC kicks his way out of there. Oh, yeah. The first door is so much easier to close than the second. The second is so difficult to close. And what is Knuckles thinking here with after that grand uppercut knocking ETC out, heading to the top of the ambulance? And a giant splash for the top of the ambulance! Oh my god! Using everything to your advantage, even your own body. The defensive elbow to the gut ends that. That was for you, Jack. The symbol on ETC is freeze. So it's like he'll like stop the person from attacking and be able to get a free hit in basically. Lifting Knuckles up and oh, trying to toss him in there, but Knuckles versus it bouncing his head off the ambulance. Knuckles, could this be it? His grand uppercut, and then jumping from the top of the ambulance. Will that be enough? Easily gets the first one, but can he get the second? He's struggling. Oh, and ENC burns resiliency to get out! 
If he gets him in there one more time, this could all be over. That elbow looked like it hurt. And he slides him back to the mat. Uh, it's, he would have soul siphon. I should probably give him that. Yeah, yes, he had resiliency. <laughs> You're gonna try and throw him back out there. No, bring him to the corner. And just repeated shots to the head. Try to do what Knuckles did to him and make him bleed. Go into the corner and misses that. I think Superman punch he was trying to go for. Going on and going over. And ooh! ENC showing the strength. Showing some strength of his own. Got revenge for <laughs> Knuckles. Why? And he landed that at a critical time in this matchup. ENC actually having to crawl over to try and get away. Lift his leg up. Trying to. Weaken the legs of the fastest thing alive. And then the shots to the gut and head with that sledgehammer. ENC get a weapon of his own and a baseball bat. It's a home run. Repeat like shots over and over again. Oh my god. And then the knuckles and the power cut to ENC knocking him out again. Is he gonna try jumping on him again? He wants to end him. And then, oh, I, it looks like he wanted to do it but backed off last second. Or oh, he, oh, he decides to jump anyways, but ENC was out of the way. And now ENC is going out there. It looks like they're going to fight on top of the ambulance. No. No. Okay. Knuckles again. Are they? Oh, my God. Who will survive this? ENC looks like he wanted to throw him off. Knuckles chops his leg away again. Targeting his leg. If he can't run, then he ain't got much to him. Ooh, a fastball punch showing the speed and power of Knuckles, and now he's just wailing on him. <laughs> it's an ambulance. Call an ambulance. Dude, we already got one. Ooh, and then the uppercut to ENC. If he gets him down below, he could end this match, but he just wants to hurt him. This is, that's all Knuckles wants to do, and sh just torture him. Sonic reverses it, and oh, Knuckles saves himself from going over. Oh, God. Knuckles, please, please reverse it. He does. Knuckles, you can't pin. Realizes that. Lifts him back up. Oh god, no digging the claws into Knuckles' face. The ambulance awaits. Just have to capitalize on this opening. Could this be the end for a sister Abigail? Head first on the top of the ambulance. One wrong move could have a disastrous ending. And here he is trying to dig his claws back into his mouth again, and he gets it. And Knuckles passes out from the pain. Bite! Yeah, no, apparently he was fading it. Kicks him right in the face. Yeah, kicks him and then just ground and pounds him. Unforgiving steel on the roof of the ambulance. Oh, tries to throw him off, but ENC apparently able to stop himself. When you're in an atmosphere like this, when you can't hear yourself think because the crowd's so loud, you find a way to do super. Trying to throw him off again. ENC reverses and Knuckles saves himself. What would it take to get them down? Probably this is how they get him down. And Angie just chucks him from the top of the ambulance. And then just jumps down. Could this be it? Throwing him into the ambulance. close to hearing the sirens? Oh, he waited for Knuckles. Couldn't get the reversal on it. 
I think this could be it. One of the doors is closed. Is E.A.T. gonna put an end to Knuckles? Put him in a second ambulance and he does. He closed the door on this rivalry. Luckily, they'll get a quick start in that ambulance. Y'all, I typed it out, but I never sent it. The poll. Oops. <laughs> oh, Knuckles would have had the votes, anyways. Uh, nothing happens to Knuckles. What happens to him is <laughs> he gets sent to the hospital again because he probably needs it. Knuckles probably needs that right now. A town. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> What an open that wasn't over that was good. Shh, it's fine. <laughs> now for the next match. Is someone most of you should be familiar with. It's Braun Breaker's debut match. Isn't it? Let's see who he has to fight. Who's the poor soul that has to fight Braun Breaker? I feel bad for whoever it is. I feel oh, bad. Yeah, I am pumped for this guy. The is a no hold bar match. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I'm leaving. I don't blame you. Let's go. You gotta be kidding me. I'm on us. Don't worry. I'm sure that I hate it. Fucking nasty looking red boy. The posture's in the ring. This is SHP spot somehow. Yeah, you're right. If Bond doesn't win, we riot. It, it has what now? Cherry, why do you have to say that? Why do you have to point that out? Alpha male. It's okay, Bond Break is here. He's gonna save everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, the wolf pack. He doesn't have Baron Corbin with him, but that's okay. Seen a fury to Braun Breaker, a fiery temper that fuels him. All right, I forgot about Corbin. Oh my god, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't know who you are, but get his ass. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a feeling this match won't last long. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think this is gonna last long. Cause knowing Braun Breaker. Sorry, that's your point. She said, "Yeah, there you go." And Braun Breaker is a beast of a man. He is what I based Tartarus off of. With this man. This is what Tartarus is based off of. All right, let's do this. Who is going to get the win in this and Braun Breaker's opening match? 
and go. to take him out. <laughs> yeah. I forgot! The modus of super finisher is a running one as well! I got so scared! <laughs> the power of Broadbreaker, baby! <laughs> the spirit <laughs> I don't know. Y'all, why don't what scared me the most about that? <laughs> Buff Among Us is like a 58 overall. <laughs> He's 58 overall! And I thought he was just gonna win with one super! <laughs> I was gonna yell! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not higher than Bischoff. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! <laughs> All right. excited about and it's the slim gym open challenge so macho man randy savage is hosting the slim gym open challenge and who will be the first one to answer his call Slam into a Slim Jim. Ooh, yeah! Alright. Out first. Oh, out first and the one answering his call. From some the old, the place, one and only, Uncle Howdy. Uncle Howdy. This unknowable dark so entity makes your skin crawl creepy. just looking at him. Messages on screen, but seeing him in person is completely different. Yeah. Completely unnerving, you mean? There's no telling what happens next. I like this man's vibes. Yeah, I do too. Man, I don't know who you are, but I appreciate your drip, sir. <laughs> hey, he's got drip. That's for. That's true. Like you said, he's a very stylish man. What? On these what are you trying to like wolf? That's me Howdy. trust! You just know Jerry. something bad is going to happen. Feels like someone is going to get hurt. I bad. know all too I well. I don't think Uncle Howdy's here to play all nice. There's nothing but darkness within him. <laughs> Blackade Uncle Howdy win 
this match is the real question. <laughs> we'll see. Because he has to be the legend himself. Macho Man Randy Savage. Look who's here. The cream of the crop has arrived. Oh, yeah. The cream of the crop, the top of the top. Weighing in at 239 pounds, Macho Man Randy Savage. How these energy gives me strength. If you want a blue it would be really nice guy outside the ring. Are you talking about Uncle Howdy or a Macho Man? Because you're right about both of them. <laughs> Especially Uncle Howdy. Because that is Bray Wyatt's... Because that is Bray Wyatt's brother. <laughs> yeah, I say Uncle Howdy is Bray Wyatt's brother. Bo... Not Bo Burnham. Bo, I forgot his last name. Bo Dallas, there we go. I remembered eventually. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> There's the start of this fall. It would both start off as a finisher. Uncle Howdy taking it to Macho Man right off the bat. I, I don't know what he was going for there. <clears throat> Macho catches him easily. Both of them were versing each other back to back, it seems. Choking the Macho Man out. Everything at your disposal to get the win. Oh, yeah. What's the point? To the outside. Uh, swing a miss. Swing a miss or two. What do you guys do? Get back in the ring. You ain't met. You are not met for the acre. Clearly. And he had you meant for the ring, just for Rizzo constantly and locks in a sleeper hold, but not even a second into it he gets out. Oh, right, hey, Charles is refereeing this match. How are you doing, Charles? Never seen you in a few games. <laughs> Very effective. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Ooh, nasty shot to the throat. Burning the tables. Setting up. Nice what do you think? Goes for the pin one. Just a one guy. Uncle Howdy ain't gonna, gonna stay down like that. Like this. See, Big Boot couldn't even take him down. Uncle yeah, Howdy's too short. Oh, stuck between the corner and a splash. He's lost some of his win. The now. one disadvantage yeah, Macho Man has. He has a top rope matchup. finisher. <laughs> and he ain't gonna be able to use that for a while. Oh Sound the alarm! Air raid crash! What? Ugh. Climbing the turnbuckle now! What, what are you guys talking about? Who is that? I have no idea who that is. He's got the answer for that one! Who goes to the middle rope? Oh, the massive crossbody! Like he was like floating for a second. Now he escapes the attack. <laughs> I, I feel like you get disqualified for that one. Granted, right they had disqualified for much. <laughs> Just going all out with every blow. And hits it this time with Sister Abigail. But I don't think that's going to be enough to keep down Macho Man. No, it's not. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Go. I don't know what finisher he was thinking of going for there, but Macho Man ends up reversing it and almost had three finishers. I don't know if Macho Man has a super finisher. If he does, this could end bad. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Great counter. Great reversal. It's a jawbreaker. It lands his signature, and no, he does not have a super finisher. One, two, 
and Uncle Howdy able to get out of it. Blow away from not kicking out next time. And he has free range. Thought he was going to go try and end him, but no. He, ah, he's bringing out the Slim Jim. Let's go. No, Howdy, how could you? Use the name of the open challenge. Come on, pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> you coward. Why is Nick in here? Oh my god, arm. just shots back to the, the back neck. of the head. And there's the cover. <laughs> Fucking sound effect. One, two. No, Ooh, and Macho Man barely kicks out. Is huge. Pick up the Slim Jim. You coward. Great counter by That's Savage. what you get for not picking up the Slim Jim. Bad predicament right here. Now you're going to get planted. On top of the ropes. Now I see you to me how painful it is to get hit by I was pumped when I saw Slim Jim. I don't know, it looks pretty painful. It smacks him once with it and goes into the pin. If this ends it, then it's pretty painful. It did not. How in the world did uh, he you kind of from it. I mean, you are just getting hit with a big stick of meat, so. I, I feel like it would hurt a decent amount. That was brutal, and Macho Man has opened up. Macho Man busted over from his head. That's our turnbuckle. Uncle Howdy dancing around. And able to connect with the sister, Abigail. Goes into the pen. One. Two, and Macho Man is forced to boot his resiliency. And now Uncle Howdy trying to use the Slim Jim, but he can't use it as well as the Macho Man. These men have been on gas and no breaks tonight, and they have to be feeling the effects. It looks like he wants to bust Uncle Howdy open as well. And Macho Man thinking about flying. Going through the middle up and takes no Uncle Howdy takes down. Him, and that risk gained big rewards. Oh, what a knee. See, the thing is, I don't think Uncle Howdy has resiliency. So if he hits a finisher out here, could throw be over. No, ropes. throws him back in. Not going to the top rope. He's saving his finishers until he knows oh, he can keep him down. And that might Savage be it right bit. here. Raises. Oh, that, why did the huh? Hold on, guys. This is oh, hey, hey, hey! Who turned the lights on? Uncle Howdy just appears behind him and locks in the Dragon Sleeper submission. It's in, and Macho Man is forced to tap. And Macho Man loses the first open challenge victory the power of uncle howdy nothing personal kid darkness has fallen over the wwe universe and his mystique only grows <laughs> uncle howdy about to be one of the strongest people we got <laughs> He really wanted that was his finisher. I say that dragon sleeper is his finisher apparently. I know that. On to the next match. Lynch talking shit in the Discord. But speaking of glitch, that, that was fun. I don't know. That's just his default finisher. I didn't change that. <laughs> Now it's time to have a bit of fun. After CM Punk took out Solo Sokoa, he took his spot as a special guest referee between Glitched and Umaga. Can Glitch keep plowing through the Bloodline Gauntlet? 
And out first yeah, now is our special guest referee. No, you're about as Are you as sure he's going to call it fairly? Are you sure he will? Uncle Howdy was 75% of the votes. Okay, why is that your entrance? That's not what I said it is. But you know, it, sure, whatever. I don't have to do... So there's a weird glitch. That if you set the beginning thing as someone, and you go into a match, it would just have that as the rest of it. So like, <laughs> there's no way for me to tell this is gonna happen. The Punk Vader? Hey, but when he comes out as DLC, I never gotta worry about that ever again. I know, he could be doing this to taunt CM Punk. I mean, to taunt Cody Rhodes. He could be taunting him. <laughs> That's CM Punk's next rivalry right there against Cody Rhodes. After he's done with Roman at home, at Radiant, he's probably going up against Sam! I'm Cody Rhodes! That's fine. Tartine is really likely. Yeah, knowing Punk, sounds about right. And here comes the Samoan Bulldozer. Oh my god! Break a force to reckon. When all is at stake, Roman is the one that many do have. When I in terms of look when I face him down, he will only fail. Boys. Man, I don't know about you guys, but Umaga always gives me the heebie jeebies. You're not the only one Saxton one. Go ahead, Paul. He's a He's a poet. And I hope he knows it. Well, yeah, the bloodline here is um, Solo, Jimmy, Roman, Umaga, and The Rock. That's the bloodline here. Since Jay's not here, yeah. and out comes the Lich. We are about to see something good. And evil never sleeps tonight. Solo and Jimmy both got squashed by Glitch. Like, it was such a one sided fight. The chair is already there. How nice. Damn, Bloodline Pre Mania 40 plus Umaga? Exactly. I don't know. He took a Samoan spike before against Solo, and it didn't do nothing to him. So, like, I don't know how well Maga's gonna do. How so? How gonna look different? See, I just added the glitch thing because it was funny. Until I actually heard it in games, and then it was horrible. Oh, it is? I'm sure that's nothing. Well, I don't know if that's wise for Punk to do since Glitched and Punk are in a truce together against the Bloodline. After Roman in a dark match punched AJ Lee in the face. So I don't think he's gonna screw him over. He might screw Umaga over though.
All right, Punk. Call it down the middle. Underway. Superstars in the ring along with our guest referee who will be keeping a close. Uh oh. Ah, oh, side coming. Launching oh, himself in the ropes. Kick to the face. Oh, man. Back at your face. You might have tried doing something at the start, but immediately got shut down by Glitch. And just like every single other match, the bloodline's getting dismantled. So like, I don't know how this is gonna end. Probably not very well. Solely focused on punishing. Yeah, Glitch is just destroying him. Focused attack on the leg could provide dividends. Oh, and Umaga is too heavy for Glitch, it seems. As well. That's good to know. Apparently. <laughs> Mistake by Umaga. Oh, back elbow. What? Glitch is busted open already. Umaga, Umaga, how strong are your punches? How did you do that already? Yeah, hey, this is an easy paycheck. But punk. Goes for the pin. Two. And drops a two count. And give it to the referee. Ow, that was a that standard sounds like a hook. Hope you feel better. Showing zero favoritism at that moment. Close line. And a second. The superstar. Needing a comeback already against Umaga. Sweeping the leg. Here he goes for the win. Goes for the pin. One, two, and Umaga kicks out two again. No one can argue that. Our guest referee showing superb reaction skills, not missing a thing. And the Superman punch. Is that enough to keep Umaga down for good? No, it's not. And that was a by the book pin count. Kept things above board there. Okay, now it might be over. Now I think he's passing out. No, he burned resiliency. And like CM Punk said, well, he's calling this Kenny. right down the middle. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. There's this no shenanigans or anything. Umaga's lining up to finish this off. Rearing and the Samoan spike. Samoan spike. Could that Umaga keep Glitch down, down. too? Oh, oh, that he, it almost kept him down. Samoan Bulldozer are going to have to dig a little deeper to close this one out. Left by the turnbuckle. Maga able to get the reversal. Is this a comeback? What a collision! Crushing him with his entire oh. body. Close to the outside. And just with one hand tosses him back in. One, two, glitch kicked out. Calling that one down the middle. You can't say our ref messed around with his cadence during that pin. And as this match continues, I have to give it up for I think I think Punk is doing better than most refs do. And that's kind of sad. Look at this. Oh, just planted him down on the ground. That's one. That's two. And that's three. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Calling it right down the middle. And once again, glitched beat. Another member of the bloodline. Umaga enraged by the result of this one. Furious over this loss. I don't know if I'd say the battle scars were worth it, Cole, but I will say the one who did it to them isn't the one celebrating <laughs> His right face now. pain's fading a bit. Where's his wood? Yeah, Punk did say he was going to call it down the middle, and he did. No strings attached there. You know it's the Mac Militant. Coming to get it all. Uh, 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 all right, what's the next match? You're coming to thunder and light. You're striking, I'm inviting you all to the storm. Feel the pain that I try to contain. My heart is black and the blood in my veins. And I'm coming.
Uh, come on, end the ball. I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna do the pull, cause holy shit, my laptop is lagging. I'm gonna just close for it. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, let's do that one. But first, I gotta do, do, go do something, cause I forgot to do it earlier. <laughs> Actually, for now, I'll just... It's fine. Set up the match. La -dee -da -dee. Oh. <laughs> la 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 I got a dream set up the entrance for that later. But anyways. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, just, just talking about you too, so. Now this one is a fun match. A little haha -ha funny match. Because it's the debut of two people. Teaming up with two... One's a legend, and one just knows what they are doing. And it's a the midst tag team match between David and Ezra taking on Salara <clears throat> and AJ Styles. Oh my God! I love. It. Let's get into it. Salawa's first match, and I'm gonna this set up the edges later. Complete so like, I know they're not coming out together. I forgot to do that. It's fine. Styles. You can, you can get your stuff together while AJ's doing his entrance. Take a few deep breaths. <laughs> I just realized he's also part of the OC, so like... I don't think a word of that tweet on it. I mean, I have an idea. Yeah, I don't know why the hell they changed this theme. I know this is like a babyface theme. I don't care. Keep it. This, this one's so much better. You know, being known as phenomenal, that's just the beginning. Anytime AJ Styles is in the ring, you have to almost assume that it's going to turn into an instant classic. Yeah, another one's imminent tonight. Why did it insane? God damn it. It didn't say the universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. She has been counting the weeks, the days, the minutes until this match, and she is now ready to compete. And here comes one of our favorites. So... That's three people I gotta fit. Why is it Saber? I hate it. I mean, you had the same entrance, so at least that's fine. 
friends are the problem here. I think we're looking at a true villain right here. Careful, Corey. You keep thinking like that, you might start to like him. So, let me go write that down. So, Knuckles, David, and Shalala. One of the best competitors in the women's division. David, so far. All right. And his partner, representing the total leaders of the world from Toronto. All right, okay. Emily. I'll fix those guys. And At least this one's safe. At least this one's good. This person doesn't shy away from anything. Where's your beef fix? I guess. I guess Esther just didn't want to bring her briefcase out today. That's okay. Kept it in the bag with by one of the spares. A determined look on her face. She knows how to prove herself in the women's division. I see Nina probably has the briefcase right now. She just gave it to her to look after. Now who's going to win? The Mitch Tag Team Match. A little precursor to the tournament. Even though Ezra's not in it. But hey. And already AJ Styles showing that he is just so much better. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Look at this. On oh, a backbreaker. Right to the spine. On AJ, but AJ quickly going out. David tries to follow, but AJ's already in the ring. And an elbow. AJ not oh, letting David Ball do much of anything so oh, far. That holds back Styles' attack. Exactly, skill and experience oh, matters in this. Trying to make AJ tap out, but he got out of that He's quicker than David did. Trying to get out of this situation. Oh, great counter. I oh, had that well scouted. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. And here comes Ezra and Salah. Nice. And oh my God, Ezra ain't taking it easy on it. Ezra's gonna teach her the hard way. Answer that with a knee to the gut. Kick. Oh. Okay. Oh, look at this. And just again, just repeat kicks what to the gut, trying to soften up the mid region. No I think it's I think it's just AJ's moves that she has. Ooh, a beautiful move right there. Showing off the athleticism Saloa has. Into the corner now. I love the crowd interactions. Made her Ezra pay, gets out of it. Solar not letting her do anything again. Targeting the body with kicks and punches and combos for days. And goes over to tag AJ Styles. What great Float over DDT. Close line in the corner. Cover. Goes through a pin, but that's just going to be a. I thought it was just going to be a one count. No, it's not. Actually, got a two count with that. Twists the arm and a big. Solara, the healthiest one here so far. He takes control. 
Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Is this his signature? Go over here then. Small package driver. Small package driver. Salah comes in and breaks it up for AJ. Even though AJ would have gone out of it. The end for AJ is looking in. You just wanted to help. But now Ezra and Salah can't come back into the ring. Ezra, Ezra, get out of. Ezra! <laughs> oh, they're still fighting. The ref is leaving. The ref is going to the back. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Ezra. Ezra didn't want to. Nope. <laughs> Um, yes, AJ and Salawa, Salawa? So, Lara won. Yes. He needed to go. <laughs> Fool! Fight, that's true, you never need to win it. Welcome to the generation of Jade. <laughs> the ref had, the ref had shit to do. That's just the ref. Hey, I still got David Spear from this. You know what? That's true. I'm gonna change to laughing a bit. <laughs> for a bad time because they're just about to kick you down. <laughs> okay. Before I put in another match, <laughs> let me go fix those people. Oh, I'm not going to remember. David, where the hell you at? Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That ain't your music. Stop it. At least it fits it now. There we go. That's the ring. Oh, hi, Jacob. Howdy, howdy. Well, you guys, they won, but I wanted to say they won. <laughs> Oh, no, it's not. Here's your winner, David J. Yeah, 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 that ain't, that ain't your theme. Get out of here with all that. Here's your winner, David J. Uh, maybe? Could be calling the time. We all wanna go big, then say that. Oh! God, hopefully everyone's saying that she's safe. For the gauntlet. If not, well, I know I got people to fix. So, Knuckles, I need to fix your music. And I'm only doing this now because, like I said, I don't forget to do it later. Yeah, why, why are you like this? Which one was your theme again? Oh, I got messed up with you know, but uh, that was my bad. <laughs> that was my dude. <laughs> How did I? 
Is that not when Knuckles Steam is on? Hello? Okay, that one I gotta figure out after the stream. That I don't know how I messed that up. <laughs> this one's on me. My bad. <laughs> yeah, that that was on me. I don't know what happened there. As I replaced Knuckle Steve, I guess, apparently. And then Solara. I don't know why you're sensei. The game hates me. So here I want to match Ezra and Fighter, we are Fighter. Oh, you'd be fine. I'm kidding. I say Solar is fighting Ezra next week, so like you're gonna have to wait for that one. You know, and hopefully. It ha actually, you know, ends as a normal match. Whoa, let's go! Here is your winner, Sunshine! Oh, that's where the song played. Okay. Here is your winner, there we go. Stand back. There's a hurricane coming through. Oh, I see. A win's a win. That is a win in your record book. <laughs> Doesn't matter how the wind happened, your record book does not care. Okay, sweet. Alright! Actually, yeah, no, this match is gonna be first. Yeah, I'll do this one first. Because this w match is going to... I'll set this one up first. Because this is what's going to show everyone. Like, hey, this is who you're fighting next week. Oh, boy. Match okay. Oh no, it's the match that's gonna show who the gauntlet people are fighting. Well, let me go make sure Macho and his opponents' things actually saved. I swear to God, if they're not. I'm a fight someone. Okay. Looks like Macho is saved. Yes, opening. Why? Why? What do you need? Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Alright, gonna catch the other dude. I ain't gonna click on your thing. I don't want people to hear you song. I can click on you. Okay, now yeah, you're good. Okay, we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time to see if Machio can win this match, even though the odds are against him. And we get to see who the first member of Esther's NWO is. <sighs> and then after this is the gauntlet which I have to set up because universe mode glitches and all that, so that's gonna take me a bit to set up, but that's okay. But who did Esther pick? Who joined him? The following contest is a special guest referee! Who? Who? The world heavyweight oh, I'm scared. Oh my god, who did he pick? 
This could be really bad or really good for Machio. But out first, Here's the special guest referee. Like he sees okay, the black well, and white filter didn't save, but eh, it doesn't matter. And here comes the GM. Is you guys think he's excited to try his hand at refereeing? I don't think he wanted it to come to this in the first place. He just wants to make sure we have some law and order here tonight. Keeping uh, his competitors in line and enforcing the rules is going to be a tricky task. He's always the guest ref out first in these types of matches. Yeah. The special guest is always out first. And he's wearing his NWO gear. He's got a nice hat though. <laughs> the new New World Order. Yeah. Survive. Yeah. He's got a chance here to impress all of us with his ability to maintain order in the ring. A little disorder never hurt anybody. I just uh, hope he doesn't take the job too seriously. He better call it down the middle. Granted, he's the GM. He can do whatever he wants. And out next is... Here we go, guys. Oh, God. Okay, first, please tell me his entrance saved correctly. It did. I saw it on there, but... This is bad! Oh, this is bad! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> the man who ruined many of our childhoods... ...in boxing. <laughs> It's a big time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael. And judging from the response on social media heading into this match, oh, God, no. the most dangerous man in history. Yeah. The challenger looking determined. He will need the performance of a lifetime to become champion. Well, that's a strong first person for Esther to choose, that's for sure. Bum, 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 bum. Hey. You got a good song there. But is Matt really strong enough yeah, to keep down the champion? Is anyone strong enough to put down this man? He haunts my nightmares. This is it, guys. The Different universe. No. <laughs> hey, Ivan never pinned him. He just put him through a table. He never actually pinned the man, though. Social media buzzing as it always does when this competitor defends his title. This is gonna be good. That belt looks so small. <laughs> Who says he's ever gonna pin him? He's in the tables match. Oh, uh, Esther, you better call this down the middle. I swear to God. If you screw Machio over, I'm a scream. Introducing the challenger from Tokyo, Japan. In at he's definitely gonna screw him over, right? It, it's not going to end well for Machio. And his opponent, from Osaka, Japan, weighing in at 400 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, the Super Athletes, Macho! Macho! The champion has no intention on tonight being their final night with the title. 
They're definitely planning something in this corner right now. They're talking to each other. Calling down the middle, or is it truly done for Machio? Ah! I don't think Esther's gonna call it down the middle. I'm gonna say that right now. I think he's gonna be a scummy ref. Big fight feel. History can be made here tonight. Oh my god, man can't lift him. But he can definitely beat him up. Back and forward so far. I was saying, Matt is no one to mess with. He's a professional with everything. Down to the pin. One. Just a one count. Nice work fighting off the pin attempt. Our special referee, Zebra Stripes, proud. I said I wasn't going to do the pull because that was lagging my laptop so Things much. And I don't want this, this to lag well. any more than it does. So I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> And for some so reason, I can't do it on my phone. The so like, in an enormous bind. Talk about yeah. Dismantling your opponent. DDT. Matt just beating him up on the outside, but. A lot of momentum now it's the champion's yeah, advantage. He can't win the out there. Esther tried to tell Matt that, that like, hey, you can't win the title out there. Boom. Get back in the ring. Delivers the leg drop. And the six count. Got Seven. The ring now. Before the count runs and Machio and wants to win this fair and square. Tossing him back in. Dragging him to the corner. What is he thinking about doing here? Try, trying the to break the arm. Dragging it against the rope. Oh, what? <laughs> Rest the kick. And then. Is there to reverse the Irish whip? Throwing it. But then just going back and forth. Macho, what are you doing, my good sir? Hey, it's fine. He reversed that move. <laughs> he got back to where he was supposed to go. One. Esther. They really roasted him. <laughs> Esther, don't you be slow counting Machio. One. Two. Yeah, respecting his job and being impartial with his count. I wouldn't it's say impartial. He's slow counted Machio. No this count at all there. Oh. And returning to the Matt gets just shoved away. Oh god. Okay. Oh, that hurt right in the kidney. Golly. Why? Why are we looking at Moss? Moss are cool. Come on. And that like was not a rope break. I don't know what you want about us, sir. <laughs> Just using their foot as a weapon. So like screwing that over too. What are you doing? <laughs> Going to the road. Showing his athleticism as well. Showing he ain't just a boxer. But Macho moves out of the way from the knee. But it looks like that didn't help or did it, Matt? Is doing so much better than Macho right now, health wise. Could this really be the end of Macho's reign? Heading to the outside, what is he thinking here? Yeah, Macho, what are you doing? Get back in the ring. Jags him back to the corner again. Turns him around and lifts him up. Oh, going, showing the power, and landing, oh, almost went for the burning hammer, but Matt able to get out with a few punches to the top of the head. Esther was a finisher scares me, because he could just whip that out at any time, and I don't like it. Here's a pin for the title. Goes for the pin for just a shot to the back. One, 
two. Just a two. Our guest referee with a textbook count. Looks like our special referee knows the importance of his response. Matt is just breaking down Machio. This is not looking good for him. Tried to go for that turnaround punch, but couldn't get it. Macho almost did get the big hug, and Matt jumps out of the way of the spear. Neither of them are able to get the big moves off. will to win from these men. Not an ounce of quit in them. But Matt may get it here. No, he doesn't. Macho once again reverses his finisher. Heading to the corner. What is he? Trying to do here in a giant shot to the back of the head. Could that be what puts Matt down? One, two, and a kick out. And the referee counted that right. I don't think that can be disputed. Neither of you can cry about that one. His count was as fair as it gets. And a, oh, tried to go for the torpedo Moscow. But Matt saw that coming from a mile away. Well, they have the cl giant clothesline instead. And the headlock trying to wear him down. The power of Machio. The challenger is not in a great place. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. No, no, no. Machio going flying, what the hell? That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No Machio, way more so athletic bad. than he should be for someone his size. Now you're not even knocking down for that. It is absolutely deafening in the building right now. And now Machio raking the, the eyes. Why are you doing this? I'm surprised Esther hasn't tried anything yet. Off the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Matt's like already grabbing the ropes. The oh, and oh, Matt's dead. It. He's dead. These risks could be a winning strategy. Two, and yeah, Matt was dead. Esther, there was some parts where Esther showed favoritism. I'm not gonna lie, he was. <laughs> Why did I take it away like that? There he is, the champion standing tall after this defense. What a title defense for him tonight. He came in with that unshakable champion mentality. Oh yeah. Now whoever wins the gauntlet has to fight Machio. I don't know if they want to fight Machio. <laughs> I'm on my own against the wall. The pressure's building, but no, I will never fall. Instead of crying, they hear me roar. And now I see that I'm way better than before. All right. Now it's time for the gauntlet match. Yeah. I never needed you at all. Go to, da, da, da. Who's in the gauntlet? Um, you see. <laughs> God damn it, I started a match on accident. Son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't mean to do this match. Come on. Here we go. There we go. Okay, no, it's fine. We do another match in the process. <laughs> we'll start another one and let Pi finish that. <laughs> That's funny. What other matches we got? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that one. <laughs> Cause your opinion don't matter It's a maniac
Oh no, you're good. And we have three more matches. All right, all right. Let's do this one instead. Yeah, four and four. Hi. Drop it. And the advantage is random, so like, yeah. <coughs> Alright, time for you guys to see who Pi and Pi had me pick. Or in this game, is there any the universe? I know, it's fine though. Are you guys ready? All right, that's another one I gotta go change. I gotta go change pies, see? Because they didn't like me. I can do it afterwards. Bye. Introducing first, representing weapons of mass destruction from another time. Weighing in at two hundred. I know, sorry, I just speed up. I'll go download them after this. This is the kind of match where reputations are made or broken. It is a crucible in which top stars are forged. And he is facing the ultimate challenge. Who will enter first? Despite being at a numbers disadvantage. It's a tall task, but he's convinced what do you mean himself and his team that they're up for it. They think they have just a good <laughs> shot at winning <laughs> I think they just said the who has their advantage. Well, I hope that confidence isn't misplaced. In war games, one single mistake is enough to bring your whole game plan crashing down. And Pi's like, dang, this place be. I can jump off of that. I think so. <laughs> oh, and Austin Theory comes out first for his team. Fitting first two, I must say. You. And with that green chain around his neck, what we learned that he made a deal with Alistair to make him stronger. And he has faith in his team to be the victors in this war. It'd be totally understandable for him to be a little shaky right now, having to be the one to start off this war games match, but he looks solid. But even with the advantage, this is still going to be a brutal war games match. He and his team are going to be tested like never before. Did you it not know? This, do they have the strength? Yeah, Austin sold his soul to Alistair to make him stronger. He's in perhaps the best physical condition of his life. There's a video of him training the Austin Theory and Omos. WWE. There was a video that went up. I sent the video. What do you mean none of us told you? Oh god, I see Machio back there. First two competitors in war games. Oh, and I see Alistair and Axiom back to there too. Oh These god. Crucial poll. If you're gonna end up well, we know who Pi pitched. <laughs> this is the time to even the odds before the next competitor even has a chance to come in. On the other hand, if you're gonna it looks like Pi picked match, me and Machio. Sooner rather than later. And Austin the Theory over there looked like he picked so Axiom like and this. Alistair. And over to the other ring he goes. 
Five, that was an unnecessary rule. And that holds Fairy back. Uh oh. Springboard and misses uh -huh. the springboard. What did I do? Oh, kicks right to the awesome mid theory. The it corner. seems that power boost from yeah, theory the is a really massive deal like so far. How do you even begin to approach a situation like War Games, Corey? You have to take every advantage that arises, Cole. No one's going to get the win in War Games by taking the high road. You really have to use everything at your Yeah, Axiom's wrist sure um, your team gets the win. Maintenance. Caught with that I, I think Lone Survivor forced Axiom in here if he can prove himself. And he sends him into the corner. Counting down to seconds until this match becomes a bit lopsided. See you later, opening. Being let loose to surely become the top. And here comes the giant Omas. Oh god, Pi Run. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, I think Lone Survivor forced Axiom to be in this match. So he can prove what he's made of. The Nigerian giant Omas. AJ one on one. Yeah. We don't have many matches for next week. Hi, don't die. Barry with a kick to the midsection. Tying is lifting. Oh my god. A taxi? What is that? Almost is just getting all the weapons. He's just letting Theory beat his ass. And now officially in the fray. Oh the yeah, Pi is in the gauntlet, man. He'll be fine. Pi has to do this and then Maybe go straight to a gauntlet. <laughs> Let's hope he's out late. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. oh no, Austin the Theory's going up. Okay, now it's how I thought he was going to go. And Robert Roode is coming out next to help Pi out. Hopefully it matters. <laughs> Why did Pi want that? Good question. Ooh! <laughs> like a little split kick there. That's kind of cool. And Robert Roode immediately getting in. Yeah, he needs to get in there. <laughs> he got in and immediately got a stop beside chucked at his head. The slice of pie. Finally able to get some more offense on Austin Theory and tell him to suck it. Ooh, and another slice of pie on Austin Theory. Stop side to the face. Stopping the name of Nigeria. <laughs> Robert, you can't yeah, lift him. Stop trying. He's going up the wall. The extreme war games oh God, Pi, please don't kill yourself, please. Pi, what are you doing? Pi, what? No, stop. Pi, going for the top, and he actually connects. Pi, what's up? Stop right there. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Pi, don't do it. <laughs> Just getting his revenge by throwing a table at Omos and it didn't do anything. Oh God, Alistair is next. I think that's the worst position. A town down out of nowhere, busting pie wide open. Oh, everyone's dead now. Alistair is coming in. Yeah, no, it's over. Pi is insane, but he goddamn Pi is fun to watch. Searching under the ring now, this can't be I will show you not to mess with in a third A town down on the Pi. Pi's gonna have a concussion or internal bleeding. We'll figure that out later. Out, out, out. Alistair's better, I'd say. He must have seen that coming. Radio Demon, I heard about you. Please let it be Machio coming out next. Poor 
Alistair, what did you do to that kendo stick? Mind explaining what you did to that kendo stick, Alistair? Why is it teleporting, Alistair? What did you do to the kendo stick, Alistair? <laughs> Hey, I like Husk. He's my fifth favorite character. But I like Alistair more. <laughs> and we've seen what guys can do off of the side of that cage. Our sense day. Oh god, Theory doing what Pi did, but he can't do it better, that's for sure. Okay, Machio's next, thank god. Shattered. <laughs> mess with the kendo sticks! <laughs> Machio, please help this man. They're both getting their ass kicked. Machio, don't get weapons. <laughs> get help. Throwing a trash can in there. Machio won a match literally like 20 minutes ago and now he's back out here. <laughs> Taking it to the radio demon. The radio demon's getting jumped. He's just getting everything thrown at him. <laughs> and the glorious DDT on Alistair. I think Pi's dead. They're just staring at Pi. I think he's dead. Austin Theory, why are you trying it again? You failed last time, you're gonna fail again. That's what I thought. I like to fight a trainee of his. I don't think he has a female trainee yet. Oh my god, Pi is gonna go through the table. Machio! What are you doing up there? You are too big for that, my boy! Oh my god! Alistair's dead! Alistair's actually dead. <laughs> Alistair's actually dead! <laughs> Macho can get a stream as well, apparently. <laughs> and here comes... Hatsio. But The Red UT may anything? Oh, was that Alistair that got busted open? Oh god. Can one of you guys stop teaming up on Alistair and go help Pi? Like, Pi's been getting his ass kicked for like, this entire match. Oh, now mine. I think that was Pi that was busted open. Cause there's a lot of blood over there. <laughs> Pi, are you okay, buddy? I see your blood on the ground. <laughs> oh god, no, not again to his head! No! Someone go help Pi! He's literally blood for crying out loud! Why? Why do you guys toss three people over to Pi? Why do you want him to get jumped by three people? Okay. <laughs> and a series of <laughs> Look how this your pie's going through. <laughs> Literally the meme. Fine, I'm coming out now. I can help. Maybe. Can someone help Pie is what I want to know. Like, I think Pi needs to help more than anyone. Yes, Machio! Help this man! <laughs> help this man, Machio! And Pi hitting the UFO cutter! I'm distracted, Austin Theory! No one goes for the pin on Omos, what are we doing here? Slice of Pi! Who, I, who was that? Who got hit by? Axiom. Okay, I'm like, who? Four games has begun. Hi, why aren't you going for pins when you hit your finishers? 
don't know what's going on over there. I'm dying. That's what's going on over there. It's now two and two, finally. But everyone on Pi's side is getting their ass kicked. I don't like this. I don't like this anymore. Alistair, can you not? There is so much blood on the, on the right ring. Oh my god. Hi, are you okay? Oh my god, I reversed that. A giant DDT. Hi, you have lost a lot of blood, buddy. Are you okay? Blink twice if you're still alive. <laughs> Hi, blink if you need help. Cause you missing that makes me say you're losing a lot of blood. <laughs> The Golden Ratio on Robert Roode, cause that have ended. The <laughs> demon killing with all that blood? Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. Pi's dead. Ew, huh? No resiliency? What is Pi made out of? <laughs> what is Pi made out of? <laughs> A kick out at one, okay. <laughs> Guys, what is Pi made out of? <laughs> going for the pin on me. Antium going to the sky, the place he loves. I didn't see what happened there. Goes for the pin and a kick out. One, two. And Robert Roode takes the pin. How was it not pie? Robert Roode took a finisher and the top boat splash and got pinned. But Pi got his ass beat for like 90% of that match and he kicked out without resiliency. Oh my god, that's a lot of blood. And we're all dead on the other side. Pi, are you okay? <laughs> Pi, you lost a lot of blood in that match. Are you okay? I think all the blood is Pi, a hundred percent of it. Okay, yeah. I, I, Someone take Pi. Bi Someone take Pi to the hospital. No, I don't think medical is enough. Bo needs to go to the hospital. <laughs> I think he lost too much blood. <laughs> Hi, are you alive? He's not in the gauntlet. Macho is the champion, so he's not in the gauntlet. Yeah, someone go get Pi help. Why I go download at this speed. Someone go get this man. I think he's slowly reverting back to pies. Oh hey, Jen's also uploaded. I wanna look at him real quick. Ooh, look at him. That's a little dude. Yeah, Pi uploaded it, so it's free.
I take a bit to set all this up, I'll be honest. Yeah, you know what? That makes <laughs> Let me share my screen. Let me share my screen real quick. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that checks out. <laughs> You say just a head injury, but that's what was targeted most of the time was his head. Yeah, your head ain't yellow, it's red. Okay, what's the pie say? <laughs> Slowly but surely I'll get everyone. Actually no, yeah, y'all gotta keep Pi here. He's in the gauntlet. Keep him here real quick. He he's got a match to do. <laughs> Leave my boy here real quick. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be fine. Ain't no one died in the ring before. In the HWE. Go get everyone quick. Gunther, Ilya, and Tony D'Angelo. <laughs> and Tony D. Then. And you Yeah, there's 30 people For you be serving all her time. So I gotta replace the two AVs with someone. I know who I'm replacing them with 100%. You and you. 
You were serving hard times And the big boss man You think you won the line You better watch your story You were serving hard times So Hard Sire killer Jacob Yes, they do. So much easier. Mac, all right, and now time for all the other people. Yeah, you stay. Ooh, it would be smart. Yeah, that'd be smart to do. Really smart to do. Don't kill me, Ginger. Wow! I'm sure it'll be fine. Who else should be here? I want like you eventually. <laughs> I will place him with you. That'd be a good replacement. That'd be a funny replacement. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Obviously add you into it. An obvious choice. There's so many people I want to add into this. Oh my god. Yeah, let me go down. Hey. Yeah, I know who the last people are gonna be. Actually, uh, yeah. Actually, I'll do you instead. Uh, that should be everyone. I'm seeing who's out here in order because I thought it was gonna mess something up. But you know what? Yeah. Yeah, I like this. This is good. That's good shit right there. Anything. That's it. Call it match. Done. 
Yeah! Okay. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready to see who will be fighting Machio next week? Let's see who's number one. The following contest is a gauntlet eliminator match. The rules of the match are as follows. Two super Okay, it is every 30 seconds, thank God. I didn't change that part. A new superstar enters the match. Yeah, we know the rules are. They keep coming in every 30 seconds. You pin, submit, disqualified, you out. Bada bing, bada boom. Get your snacks, get your popcorn. I got mine. Oh no. Yeah, it's a Royal Rumble will pin our submission. Oh God. You could realistically go all the way. We've already seen that The Rock is champion material, but he recently This man very well could go all the way, and that scares me. Well, The Rock can certainly do it all. But balancing Hollywood and WWE is no easy task with a competition level this high. Corey, the final ball. Harsh there. From what we've seen, if The Rock works as hard in the ring as he does on set, I'm sure it would be a household name in no time. Dane Rock should be fighting next week. Yes! So if The Rock wins this, he has two matches. <laughs> the Brahma Bull has an immense amount it will of cook momentum. Where he cook? Yes, yeah, yes he will. See that he's dead <laughs> set on regaining his spot at the top. Now who is that doing at number two? Oh, sweet Jesus. He's already back out here. Dear God, no. I hate that this is actually an even match. But Tanji has... The next thing around him, I forgot to give him, I forgot to choose that attire. But Ted, he still has it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was closing in my mic around my hands. That was on purpose. It looks like Theory brought all of his friends in the ring with him. <laughs> that was on purpose, oh, yes! Watch your mouth, Cole. You are looking at the youngest United States champion and Mr. Money in the bank ever. I'm sorry. <laughs> God, it's like the news radio. <laughs> well, I, I don't have that information readily available. Usually the guys at 2K are great about giving me the stats. I, I, I'll get back to you. Okay, let's get this. Show on the road. This Let's go. Match has begun. As this match goes on, fresh superstars will continue. Why? To you immediately the threw him into the ref. Austin to Theory getting out of the Toto for DDT. My bad. What join did you do? I want to see. Oh, good. I got this. He does not. I know. Coming in at number three. It's me. You guys voted me in this. And here I am, just slowly walking down to the ring. I'm going to take my time. I don't want to be in the ring with him. <laughs> Have fun. I'm gonna die, don't worry. I don't know what I'm doing here. You guys voted me in and I didn't train at all. God, I'm short. Holy hell. 
<laughs> I want to run, but I can't. I want to fight more. <laughs> Number four coming in. Oh my god, Austin Theory's going way for him. Oh yeah, that was my War Games match. That was my training. Yeah. Okay. I got a Fitz Coffin K thing. Not Coffin L, Coffin K. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> it's your favorite. Cook. So they're going back to the ring. Number five. Ooh, a big boot toss to theory. And it's Jacob! And Coffin K and Pine are immediately going after him up the ramp! They gave him no chance! And I'm just in the ring getting my ass beat by the rock. Please help! Send help! What are you guys running towards? Number six. I think I dropped on my head. I swear to God, if I'm out already. Serpentious! Yes! It's our boy! Our silly little guy! I love how his music is still playing. His music is still going. There we go. And another demon. My boy. I am out already. Why did I get bullied like that? And oh god, Alistair. Why did I get bullied like that? I didn't deserve that. And Coffin K immediately just bashing a chair against Alistair's head. Probably not the best idea. Yeah, I tried. I, like, I said I didn't train. Like, <laughs> uh, I said I didn't train. And that proved it right there. <laughs> RNG and AI bullied? <laughs> Number seven, eight, oh. Well, this match just started to heat up with Elia Dragunov coming in. Oh, hey, Alistair. Smacks him with shit. And Elia immediately taking out the radio demon. That won't beat him. I'm not sure anything will. Oh, target in the arm. This is. He got whipped into that corner. Hey, it's there. It's my grip. As they come because my phone died. I, David, again. No, Sir Petrus, please. Oh God, Jacob might be out of here. Oh, Sir Petrus, no one's out of here. Gentleman Thomas is next. You know, Thomas, I chose a specific outfit for you, and you didn't wear it. Now the ring is completely full. Who will be the next one out of this match? Oh god, the mist! Coffin, why? Why was it blue? Bro sprayed, bro just sprayed him with blue power aid dust. That's why. <laughs> Blue lightning miss? <laughs> well, you know, that's better than what I said. Oh my god, just whipped a kendo stick at Sir Petches and then big booted Ely to the ground. That's how he's working for Kaufman, it's lightning missed. You know what? That worked. Puppets full of everyone in the match relax until someone comes out. Exactly. Like Pi. Pi needs to relax. <laughs> to the steel steps. 
Kiki Lee. No, that was a theory. That was Elia. Coffin back into the ring. Anyone gonna go after him? No, but Jacob takes a rock bottom to the outside. Through the stick. Allison, where are you going? Austin Theory back into the ring. Is anyone gonna go after him? No, probably not. Oh my god, super kick to the back of the rock skull. Austin Theory, why you gotta tease us like that? You were gonna go flying and then you just stopped. What? Stop it. Yeah, no, Pi's not getting jumped. He's fine. Right, two of the people that would have jumped him are in this match right now. So, like. Trying to throw Alistair back in, but there's too many damn people in this one spot. Dropping Austin Theory right on his ball. Everyone getting tossed back into the ring by The Rock. Is he gonna follow them? No. But Sir Pentius and Alistair can fight once again. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Pentius is dead. <laughs> Pentius is out of here. Okay, yup. One finisher was all we took. And Jacob might be following. After Alistair hits him with the. 1960? No, Jacob gets out of it. Coffin looked like he wanted to do something. May hit his finisher on Jacob to get him out of here. Jacob just getting botched in the corner. God damn! 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 <laughs> Jacob got a shit rock. No! Arrow, no, he's not. That never happened. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Thomas whipping a chair at Theory's face mid run. Ooh, a beautiful move from Jacob. An underhook suplex on Austin Theory. Could he be the next one out of this match? Two, and Theory kicks out. A whole chair! Number 10, I think, is coming out now. Is, oh god, and Atium is running. He is booking it down this ramp. He is ready to go. And a low blow to Ilya Dragunov! Is that, is what's gonna take Ilya out of this match? And it wasn't. Theory missing the, Jacob trying to, <laughs> to roll the kendo stick at Coffin but misses horribly. He wants to fight. To Peter Moscow, could actually be out here and he just got in here. Why are all my enemies here? Because they won. That's why they're here. Oh my god. See we going flying. But so is Thomas. Right into the turnbook. This is the spite pie cup. <laughs> yeah, they may jump pie again. I'm sure it's fine. Ooh! Jacob sniping the competition out there. Oh, Alistair and The Rock going at it. That'd be a thing of a match. Oh, and gentlemen, Thomas might be out of here. Ooh, and planting his head into the ground, his old bones. Don't know how much of that he can take, but he kicks out. It's the training from Machio. 
The mist again! But I think Axiom reversed it. However you reverse mist. I don't know how you would manage that. Targeting the stomach to reverse that maneuver. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the mid section. I think Thomas just low blowed Alistair! Could he be the next one out of this match from that? He's not. And I think I saw The Rock was the one who got busted open over there. Looks like they're looking for a net break. Oh, fall to the net. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Oh, oh my God. Coffin sold his ass off. From behind. Back suplex. <laughs> And the A-Town down to his master of all things as well. Uh, Coffin, what are you trying to do here? You're just throwing stuff just to throw it. Coffin all the way up there on the ramp. Someone didn't want him here. And Alistair going after Coffin. The one who attacked him before he even get off the ramp, really. Axiom going flying and clotheslines the back of Ilya Dragunov. Oh god, Thomas and Coffin are now in the ring. One of them could be the next ones out of here. Coffin, what are you doing? Dragging him down and just repeated shots to the head. Could Thomas be the next one? I don't even know. Thomas reverses it. Goes for the underhook suplex. And that could be one, two, and Coffin is out of here. Oh yeah, no, I saw that. I'm the one who allowed that to be seen. He thinks he has it. One, two, and at Thomas has three eliminations so far. Oh, never mind. Now Thomas is out of here. No, Thomas has two eliminations, and Thomas stays in it. Oh my god. Ta <laughs> Austin just fighting everyone he sees. Oh? Ta no, not tossing back his ring, just bouncing his head off the apron. The hardest part of the ring. And Atium can't get out. He's stuck here forever. There's a wall of meat. Atium, please be free. <laughs> Out at number 11 is, oh, the winner of the match, running down to the ring. Bo is way too ready for this. I know who's going to win this, unless Thomas has something to do about it, taking him out, I think so. You guys voted glitched in, that's on you. Now once again, Thomas is getting his head beaten. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Lock, you better put those stairs down. Oh, thank you. Oh, Alistair going flying, taking out Elia and Jacob in the process. Alistair knocking everyone down to the ground. Oh, it looks like The Rock's arm smacked up against the steel steps because of that. Ilya, oh! 
And that Computer Moscow could be the end of Gentleman Thomas. Fish, if you don't get out of the way, and Elia eliminates Thomas, and oh god, Gunther's here. Elia tries to take out Alistair and Jacob, but could not do it quite yet. Yeah, the Rock is still in. Alistair taking it to Guther. What happened to Elia? It was like an uppercut he just took out there. Dragon off, get back in. <laughs> Thomas is out. Glitch is here. A lot of things happen. Ooh, and that signature chop of Guther taking them down. And okay. A rock bottom to Guther. Could he be out of this match already? No. He's still in it. This blood just pouring down the rock's face. <laughs> and another rock bottom to Gunther. Could he be out of this match before he could even chance to do anything? No, because he burns resiliency. And here comes Sprinkles! And another rock bottom, where are they coming from? And Austin Theory is out of this match. The DDT. He's gone, Theory's out. Thank you, huh? And, and Pi gets banned. And is, is Elia gonna be the one to... Gunther didn't have a chance. He got two rock bottoms and a torpedo Moscow and Gunther's out of here. Lifting glitch up. And a massive power bomb. Elia, the mad Russian, looking to take Glitch down. Building up in the torpedo, Moscow connects. Is Glitch out of here? Is Elia gonna take down the beast? Oh, and he kicks out. With, without reason? Without resilience. Oh my god, Elia went flying. Did Speaker just make that up? No, he didn't. And Elia gets out of here. Oh god, here comes Goku. Goku. <laughs> the Springer's gonna be out of here next. No, just a one count. The Rock out there taunting Alistair, freezing him in place. Two, one. And Sire Killer is out next. He's running, and he's taking out everyone in his way to get to the ring. Is Goku gonna be the one that's the glitch killer? And Goku is! Glitch has been pinned by Goku. <laughs> Power. Hey, it's me, Goku. He's know he's in harm's way here. Ooh, a beautiful bicycle knee kick and a beautiful roundhouse kick. Jacob is cooking. Gets him with 
At number 16, it's the Don of NXT. The Don is here to teach everyone a lesson. Unless Goku has something to say about it. Oh god, the game lags there. The game did not like him doing that. Where's the Gabagool? Gonna do with the blood line later the mascot. Yeah, he does. But he could be a champion. Can Jacob get another elimination here? No, he can't. Just a one count. Two, one. Number 17. Oh god, it's Adam. It's the Dick Master. Oh god, no. <laughs> I think that was a finisher on the Sprinkles. Is Sprinkles gonna be the next one out of you? No, he burns the ceiling too. Obviously still has some fight left. Jacob is cooking, I'll be honest. He <laughs> Jacob is beating everyone up. Sprinkles has done nothing, you're right. <laughs> Hell is forever. Now we wait until someone gets out of here. And Jacob is beating everyone up in here. But is the poor thing is we? That's not Beetlejuice. <laughs> Close enough to Beetlejuice. Come on now. Adam using his heavenly powers and beating the hell out of Jacob. Sprinkles! Oh, I thought he was doing a finisher. Never mind. He's big, but he's also weak. So Jacob and The Rock are strong? Yes. Yes, they are. Because The Rock, I just realized, is still in here. Oh, a spear on The Rock, just like what happened at WrestleMania. Goes for the pin, and my Adam kicks out a two. One, two, and Side Killer kicks out of Tony. Of course, Adam and Lucifer are fighting. Of course, they are. And Adam won again. Is that box in the air? The Rock's coming for you, and he's gonna whoop your candy ass. Ooh, Sprinkles just tossing Tony Danger out of the ring. This ride, you can't do this. Oh, oh, never mind. The Superman punch on Sprinkles and he's out of here. Okay, yep. Yeah. Yeah. What would you say getting the My Rise payback take? Um. Um. I would say a few hours each. Actually, no. You get the paybacks once you complete the first missions. It's the entrances you get when you defeat all of it. So the paybacks, if you speed run it, maybe like 30 minutes. I'd say. Cue the gif in the chat. Ooh, Alistair taking to the sky. Once again, but this time only the rockets call. Obviously can't win anything. Oh, he'll be fine. And Tony almost got eliminated by Jacob. Would have been his third elimination, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, God. Bond Breaker. Oh, Jesus Christ. The second Jacob hit a spear, Bond Breaker's like, nah, nah. Let me show you how you really do it. My rise is honestly really fun this year. If you can't do it, do it. But god damn is it long. I'm still not done with you. Tony could be the next one out of here. One, two, 
And Tony is out. Jacob was like three eliminations so far. Two, and Jacob kicks out. Oh, the rock's out of here. The bear hug is in, bloodied everywhere, and the rock's forced to tap out. Oh, and now Silent Killer might be out of here from a submission as well. Silent Killer tapped out so fast. Psycho did not last long there. <laughs> Goes for the roll up and just a one count. Now Jacob has been in here the long enough the rock's gone. Oh god, Maintenance is here. Maintenance is trying to secure his safety from the casket match just to rub it in Tartarosa's face. I saw all the blood. Look at the blood just everywhere. But Von Break is going to make sure Maintenance does not win this. As Jacob hits a beautiful Spanish fly under at Allison, I always said Atio. Goes from maintenance to Ray Wyatt. Someone stop shuffling the stairs. Up next at number 21 is Husker or Hust, the little guy. Die for me, brother. Come from Psycho Husky 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 I thought Adam was just boxing Gray there Nope Now we wait for someone to get eliminated Whoever that's gonna be Hi, why did you take your ring gear off to begin with? Like, <laughs> why was it off? <laughs> it looks like Braun tried hitting a spear but didn't quite get all of it. Is Bray not going to eliminate maintenance? Not even close. Alright. And a giant power bomb on the Braun Breaker. And most people was a finisher, and Jacob just met one of those finishers too, and Jacob kicks out without resiliency. Excuse me. One and just a one count. It's, and Jacob just gets close lined out of the ring. Yes, Huss. Ooh, the neck tilt around Angel Breaker. One, two, Demon Breaker. There you go, that's a better name for it. Will you give up? Never. You will never give up. All right, we're going to see a DDT on the maintenance, but Bray had different ideas. Ooh, a pop-up powerbomb. Could Alistair finally be out of here? 
He's been in here for a hot minute, and he just now uses resiliency. How is he just now using resiliency? Alistair just swinging at anything at this fucking moment. Lifting them up. Relative ease. Oh, and Husker oh, is going to take... Oh, no, Husker gets out of it. He's about to take a cat nap. But well, that doesn't seem to be happening today. What the hell is that sound? And then 10. The 10 beats a Namek. There you go. Wait. Huh? I couldn't remember the name for a second. Tom Baker going through Bray Wyatt. Ooh, and a pop up punch. Bray Wyatt's got to cook it right now. And the sister Abigail is Goku out of this one. No. Braun Breaker doesn't let him get the pin, but instead lifts him up to the military press, slamming him to the ground. Bray could be out of this one. Two. And but he kicks out. What does maintenance have with Husker does? What did he do? Why did I say Husker does? That's the ship name. Oh my god. With Hus. Oh my god. <laughs> the power of Goku. The sit down power bomb. And Braun Breaker just tossing maintenance like he weighs nothing. Oh, I could be over here. Tossing to Rose and a pop up power bomb. Braun Breaker could be out of here. The spirit bomb could not finish it. Oh, and Goku getting lift up, getting told to go to sleep. And Husk is the next one to fall to that choke out submission. One, two, and Goku is not going to sleep just yet. But could Braun Breaker be out of this one as well? And Alistair gets two eliminations back to back. Jacob is up. Ooh, the demon driver. Radio drive. Whatever, I'll figure out a name. And will Adam be the next victim? And Adam is the next victim. Alistair has like five eliminations. Can someone stop this man? Two and Jacob is out of here via Goku. Alistair has like five eliminations so far. That's insane. Someone get this man. Please stop the radio demon. I mean. This is why you don't mess with the radio demon, I guess. Is maintenance gonna get Bray out of this one? No, he's not. Oh God, ENC. Oh sweet Jesus. That's not good. A demon versus demon. Alistair, I love him. He's great. Why is there demons now? <laughs> but maintenance telling ENT to go to sleep even though he just got here. One, two, and he's not out just yet. Number 23 is SP. 
I Duck Force is at the hospital. That's where he is. So many demons. Yeah, we get a demon problem. I don't know what that's all about, but eh, not my problem. I'm just a commentator. Can Bray beat Goku? Beat him down in the ring. Ooh, and snapping his neck. Ooh, die Jack at number 24. Die Jack is here. And Die Oh, Die Jack immediately got hit with the spirit bomb. Okay, well, it was nice knowing you, Die Jack. Oh, never mind, he kicks out the key of ratios. That's right. What's happening? Major take tap it up. I'm scared. Lone Survivor is now here. Two members of Matrix's crew are here now. Two and Matrix kicks out. Ma yeah, Matrix's is right hand man. It thinks I hate it. Oh god, Lone Survivor and Alistair. That's a match and a half right there that I kind of want to see. Lone Survivor taking everyone down in his way, but Dijak fighting back, trying to fight back, that is. I did not even realize that he was in the ring. I thought he was outside. We're gonna have to be over dropping him onto the ropes. That's not enough. SP is a former champion. Cut him some slack now. Tossing EXC out, and then Bray wants to be the one to take SSP out of this match, it seems. And at his, his, oh, I thought Sonic broke up the pin. I guess not. And just a two count. And the mandible claw is locked in. Is is he at sea gonna be out of this one? Maintenance, can you big head out of the way? And he's forced to burn his resiliency to stay in this match. Oh, Bray Wyatt's out of this one. The choke is in. And Bray taps out. That's Alistair's like sits elimination with that move. My place in the entry order, but there's still tons of fight left. Alistair! What crack you on? I'm afraid Alistair's gonna win this. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Oh! Alistair is kinda scary. Yeah, yes he is. And Magic is going flying, landing right on Goku's back. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Arms are trapped. Guy Jack, I don't know if you want to fight the demon. Granted, I don't think you want to fight anyone here except for SSP. He's the only human. <laughs> I hate that radio demon. <laughs> Rosie is better, I'm afraid. Nah. I don't think so. I don't think so, Chief. Feast your eyes, maintenance. And he's like, no, I don't want you. Oh my God. Coming in at number 20 something. I forgot. Four, three, two, one. Number 20 sits. Oh my God. I don't like it here. I don't. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, 
Um, that is the embodiment of chaos. That's who that is. You know, the dude who wished for pies, that wish? Yeah, that's this guy. That's who this is. One, two, and Die Jack is out of this one. Yeah, he's the embodiment of chaos. Uh, probably. Uh, if it's chaotic, it's probably his fault. Jeez. And he's been taking hits after hits in this one. That'll have to serve as a wake-up call for him. So, yeah. Back to the mat. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Thunderous power slam. Discord? What do you mean by that? Hey, but SSP is taking the trip with the S. S. P factor. S factor. But, yeah, he kicks out. Why is that when I want to win? Get it out. Yeah, Alistair and Matrix are still in. Why? And Alistair gets told to go to sleep. Is SSP just gonna completely dismantle Chaos Imp? No, he got out of that way too fast. Okay, well, it have like evil forms or something. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. It's Megalon! It's our boy! Uh, like, what is Chaos Hippo? Uh, Chaos. That is the embodiment of Chaos that Hippo possessed. And now it's just free, and I don't know why. Someone order a Kirby character? That's our boy! <laughs> Mango Lord! <laughs> He's such a showman! Yeah, he was dancing immediately. He's also a salesman. That's how you take an opponent down. At this P and Chaos Ip will hate each other. And I feel like I know why. <laughs> I feel like there's an obvious reason why they hate each other. <laughs> oh god, Alistair has finishers and I, I hate that. The showman saves me. Ooh, Kamiyami Hard Alone Survivor. That could finish him off. No, but he's forced to burn resiliency. Alistair jumping over Magalore. Uh, what, what is Ka what is Chaos Hippo doing the maintenance? Does he even have a sword or siphon? What is he doing? What did he just do to him? What did he do to him? Smash and on a submission on a tap out. And is he making the three count? No, he lets him out. What did he do to him? He wasn't going to get the submission there. Showing him what a real alpha male looks like. Here's a cover. And look at this. Now pause. Wait a minute. Two on Megalore's force to burn resiliency. What was that? Uh, I think he was trying to take his soul. I, I think that's what was happening right there. And the low blow to maintenance. One, two, and that's just be forced to bird resiliency. Uh, I mean, that's what the move is called, Soul Siphon. So that's just what I'm guessing was happening. Also, <laughs> I guess that's a good thing KS Hippo makes you angry because that's the point so I guess it does its job <laughs> it's bringing back memories of when pies was first created 
because that's the hippo that did that. What, what was I doing over there? That was Chaos doing over there. And Alistair, maintenance eliminates him. One, two, and DXC cannot eliminate Lone Survivor. What's it gonna take to keep this guy down? Alistair finally got out of here after being in here for so goddamn long. Oh god, Sonic might be out of this net. No, he reverses it. Could just clean up. He could. Make it very easily could. Oh, that's a thing from the AW universe. Oh yeah, you don't know about that. My bad. And he tosses it back in now. Trying to make ET tap out. And he lets it go. Uh oh! Dropping Goku on his head. Now he's actually trying to make him tap out. Is ET gonna tap? XSP makes him tap! In a giant clothesline to not clothesline, choke slam to Chaos Hippo. That's two and he, he kicks out. Oh god damn it. All three of Mantis's people were in here. One, two, and Mantis eliminates Chaos Hippo. Okay. Showed him one day. He's back. Thank God. Hey. Wait, does that mean that the HW Lord speaker is just some guy that showed up that day? One day? No, Sprinkles is still, you know, Sprinkles. You know, the Pokemon. But, like, yeah. You know, there's a very high chance one of the maintenance people wins. And I, that scares me. Because I don't want any of them to win the title. <laughs> At number 29, comes out. Oh my god! And he is booking it to the ring! He sees. All three of Mage's people there, and he knows what he wants to do to them. And he goes flying, taking out Goku! Tidalos is pissed. Him and Mage's have a casket match tonight as well, but if either of them win, they're safe from the consequences. At number 30 is... Oh my god, it's Pi. It just got interesting. At the very least, Pi is just something that should have tried to stash itself. Pi is number 30. And he doesn't... And his head is injured somehow. Pi, don't die! <laughs> And here are the final eight people in maintenance with the big knee taking out Tartaros. Oh god, the Fiend's trying to choke out Magla, but he's able to get out of it. Yeah, go get him, Pi. Wait. <laughs> Pi, please! Hurry! I mean, not surprising, Tardos and Lone Survivor beating the hell out of each other. Pi, get out of the way. Uh, Pi, I did say get out of the way. You, you didn't listen, and then you got your shit rocked. Oh god, now Pi's getting choked. And he gets the choke slam instead. He 
he really... I think Tardo has to try to break the mask somehow. I think that's what ma Tardo is trying to do. Because no mask and no maintenance. Oh, I just realized what the Fiend is doing. Oh god, Goku. Uh, Goku, please. <laughs> and the sister Abigail on Goku. Could that be what takes him out? Is the Fiend just too strong for him? That's two, and that's three. Break it, destroy Mates' life source. Break the mass title up. <laughs> Mates, stop choking people out. <laughs> I know you want to kill, but stop it. Agatha trying to stop the Fiend from doing that move. <laughs> Goku's gone. Ooh, a super kick. Florida Keys. Florida Keys? Hello? Why don't Air why does Air have that move? <laughs> I don't like this. I don't either. Mate it's going flying, but couldn't exactly do much with them in the middle of a move. Pi's doing a lot better than I thought he would be doing. Pi, stop shimmering. Stop doing a shimmy. That's how you get big booted in the face by Tardor. Florida? I heard Florida. Yeah, there's a move called the Florida Keys. And the Fiend is getting told to go to sleep. And Lone Survivor trying to be the one to make sure Tartarus does not mess with Mates, just a shot to the head with the gauntlet. Hi, not getting tossed in the way, too many bodies in the way. That's the speed goes instead. And SSP going flying and did nothing. Okay. Good job, SSP. Ooh! That's roundhouse kick. Again, just taking Fiend out of here. Magalore and Pi, the only two in the ring. Will one of these two be the Nets to get out of here? And Tardros could be meeting that move plenty more times later on. Pot, what's Pi going for here? Ooh! A punt to the head. To a neck breaker. Oh, he was going for the slice of Pi on maintenance, but couldn't get it. Okay, he just wanted to look at him that time. God, Pi is already all orange. Could, that could be the end of Pi. No, just a one count. The rings of feel the glow. I was about to say rings of sadness. Magaloy with three finishers. He could take out three people right now if he wanted to. Throwing the kendo stick across the <laughs> ring and hits nobody. Still, these seven people were left. Maintenance choking Pi out in the middle of the ring. Some intimidation tactics from the Fiend. Boom! Oh my god, stomping on his arm. The end for him may be soon if he doesn't Damn, ain't nobody care about Pi, apparently. They're just gonna leave him. Oh, now my lone survivor cares. And going off the top rope, Big Man can fly. One. Two, and Pi does not burn resiliency. Oh, very well. Who's making earthquakes, Pi? Oh god, and the move, oh, the metal gauntlet of Lone Survivor! Trying to crack the skull of Pi. 
That's one, that's two, and he forced to burn resiliency. Here we go again. Oh, I thought. Oh, and Pi could be out of here. It was another shot to the head from that gauntlet. Pi might actually have brain damage after this match. Lone Survivor was like the worst person he could be fighting. And yeah, Pi. You need to get. Yeah, okay. And the X Factor on Lone Survivor, SSP sneaking the pin and taking out Lone Survivor. Hey, we need to get Pi to the hospital. Said, yeah, go. Go get Pi to the hospital. <laughs> Pal, you alive? No, no, he's not. He wants even more out of his opponent. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Pi has brain damage. What else is new? Yeah, you're right. Now, if Maintenance or Tartaros win this match, they are safe from the consequences of the casket match later on. Do I have any more? Call, yeah, call the hospital. The, you, you might need to do that. Everyone put your ones down. Stop it. Don't join. Oh my god! He was about to hit Tartarus was to go to sleep, but SSP saved him. Two. Oh, and SSP barely kicks out. Oh, no, no, mind. SSP is probably out of this now. The mandible claw is locked in and it's all over. Hey, about Jake wants to fight Goku next to eat? Ooh, that's his PSG kicks out, and Magdalore is told to go to sleep. Oh, what? Tartaros tried to spear the Fiend, but the ref... But it looks like the Fiend moved the ref into the way. God, Tardos out! The ref! The ref is dead! Oh god, the ref is getting like pushed out of the ring. The ref got KO. And the fiend somehow adding even more insult to injury. The fiend going to the top rope. He's trying to end Tardos's dreams right here. If this connects, Tardaros could be the next one eliminated from this match, and it's in! Tardaros' dreams could be over right here. <gasps> and he kicks out without resiliency! Oh, and SSP might not be so lucky, though. Oh yeah, SSP is out of here. It, it's 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 over. Oh, and that buys some time, and now gets tossed into the ring. Oh, spear out of absolutely nowhere. Did it SSP tap? I thought SSP got out of here, hold on. Okay, now mind. Back a little high, SSP still has fight. Alright, I guess he's not out. But Magalore might be out of here. SSP sneaking his way through this. Goes into the figure eight. And immediately lets it go. Oh god, SSP. SSP has his super finisher ready. Oh, he released the hold? That's weird. SSP could hit his super finisher, and, and if SSP hits his super finisher, anyone here is out. If he hits it, anyone here is out of this match. But Magaloy might not let that happen. 
the beautiful shooting star press. One, two, and now SSP is out of here. Oh my god. Tardimo's taunting as Magdalene takes the fiend out. Rolls Tardimo's up, locks in, will feel the glow. His super finisher is the Avalanche X Factor. The Lord Star Cutter Press. Uh -oh. Magalore, please take out the Fiend. We need you. <laughs> if you take out the Fiend, Tidalos takes out maintenance, and then it's just you two fighting. Best ending. Amazing Mage is called Tardos and Magalore. Yep, yep, yep. Who will come out on top? Look at him. Pride and poise you were going after the wrong person there, Tartaros. That may cost you. Oh, Fantastic. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. You're going to get back into the ring? No. It looks like he's going to go help maintenance. Oh, oh never mind. These two want to fight. Switched it up and hit the DDT. Come on, Megaloy, take him out. Dangerous Hurricane Rana. This to me. We are bone guys. Jeez, that no, Megaloy, what are you doing? Release the pin. Release it. Oh my god, Megaloy. Tartaros is out of here. And oh god, what is Maintenance thinking here? Wanna go coast to coast? And he reaches it, taking Magaloy down with him. One, two, and he eliminates the feet. Magaloy, please. Magaloy, please. Megaloy, please survive. Here it comes. Looking for Thunderous. Oh god, no, not the corner. Megaloy, please reverse it! <gasps> Answering back. Oh god, no, no, no. Oh my god! Maintenance messed it up twice! Oh god, no. No. Two. about them. Maintenance is clearly not weak. You know on the other side. Hey, let me... It's a new day. Yes, it is. Do, 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 do. Alright, is there another match for the casket match? 
I don't think there is. I think it's time. And when it seems everything's wrong and the pressure is on, that's when it's time to be strong. Just look in the mirror and wipe your face. Step up to the plate, cause it's time to be Ah, classic 2K. Deleting some of my goddamn matches. Oh well. That's fine. Don't stop till you reach the top and while I'm hating, keep hating, you'll be winning a race. It's new to it's me to show you some charge, so... Yeah, no. Maintenance is completely safe from this match. Even if Tartarus wins, all that does for Tartarus is that he lives. There won't be another match after this, unless Esther forces it. So it's either Tartarus lives or Tartarus dies. That's all this match is now. That's the only thing this match is on now. Tartarus lives, or Tartarus dies. <laughs> See, there's a way to keep Tartarus alive. Yeah, there is a way. The Tartarus needs to win. That's how he stays alive. If he wins this match, he wins his ability to keep his life. But maintenance is so ungodly strong, it seems. What training has he done? <laughs> Let's see. Can Tartaros do the it? The WWE Universe just exploded! <laughs> Here he comes. Didn't even save my fireworks. I see how it is. Yeah. Magaloy screwed Tartaros over by eliminating him. Because he knows There's the fireworks. Not the one I expected, but yeah. Into a casket and shut the lid. He better be ready because if not, he will be the Yeah, Magalore pinning Tartaros ruined him completely. his game every week. He is competing at his highest level yet. Oops. <laughs> but I said, is Tardos gonna live in the AWE, right? Yeah, Tardos is in the AWE. I'm gonna keep submitting him there. But, like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're right about that. In this casket match. Indeed, you need to become your darkest, most evil self to succeed in a casket match. And he is more than ready to become that person tonight. He's always greener on the other side. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, obviously Maintenance is feeling confident because he's walking into this match Knowing no matter what happens, he wins.
Like he now knows after that match. Oh yeah, Macho would train him. He will gladly do it. Staring down Tartarus as he enters the ring. Knowing damn well. No matter what Tartarus throws at him. No matter what Tartarus does to him. He's physically and mentally prepared for Nate Dent will come out on top. And here comes the casket. casket match. There are no pinfalls. And don't look at his face. It, I hate it too. Countouts. The only way to win is for a superstar to force their opponent inside of the casket. After closing the casket lid shut, the there may be hopes that it breaks. Uh, I hope so. It's good and very badly. <laughs> Let's see what's going to happen. Tardos has got this. Come on. Both of them running after each other and missing wildly. Dragging him over already. What is Tardos doing? Tosses him out onto the casket. She's selling him that I am gonna toss you into this and keep my life. We having a bad ending. Already going together. He knows he needs it. Needs it. And maintenance is injured. It looks like that might be Tardwas's only hope. T maintenance coming into this looks like with a head injury, unless he got that from the only move that happened. Uh, good question. I don't know what would happen if the mask breaks. Yeah, it looks like Mainz's head is injured. I guess the mask has and can take damage. Oh god, chokeslam him. We've seen that many times during the gauntlet. From the head drop he at the start. Elbow after elbow. It still counts. Shoulder tackle. Hey, that means his head is weakened. So that's what matters. And, and Tartaros using the casket any way he can as a weapon. And he opens it up. And he is bringing it to maintenance. He knows what's on stake, and for him, it's everything. Setting up for something here. Oh god, and he just power bombs him in there. Tries to close it, but Tardivos has opened it and it busted maintenance open. And then he closes it back up, but maintenance is bleeding. He can bleed. I didn't know he could bleed! <laughs> Tardos is really putting all of his strength into this match. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. I'll bust open this lid and your face. Corey, this match is so twisted. It can make a competitor emotionless. What's the game plan? What are you doing, Todd like Rose? Oh my it god. Oh god. I thought, I thought he was about to drop him onto the steel steps. Your opponent. Make sure that you are the only person physically capable of shutting the lid on the casket. Saw it coming. Made it looking way worse than Todd Rose after so far. Is Tardos actually going to have a chance at taking him down? He's one step ahead there. Oh my! Turn that around and spike him. 
Mantis has that fireball ready. For some sort of you better watch out. Taking out a kendo stick and just <laughs> throwing it at his head. And then, com and then combos it into a spear. Tartaros is doing everything he can to win. And he lifts him up to the military present, slamming him down to the ground. But he's not done. He knows that is not enough to keep him down. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. Oh, he's saying he's going to break that mask. He just gets reversal, closing the lid in the process. Oh, my God. He's taking some good hits. <laughs> Man, what are you doing? Dominating shoulder tackle. <laughs> nah, Tardos is like, keep this open. I want you to see where you would be staying. Oh, well, not with that kick to the head. Going over, what is he going to grab? For something, anything under the ring. Put on a baseball bat. <laughs> Call your shot over the left field wall. And Tardos knocks it out of his hands. He's not letting maintenance do anything in this match. Ends up closing as well. Oh, that was actually kind of cool. <laughs> Bo has that speed and, and athleticism. Screw him up! Oh, is he busted open too? Oh, uh, stomping on each limb and body part. Stop Just torturing stop him. Ooh, and a Middle rope leg drop. Carving across the face. Oh, Heavy repeated shots. shots to the head. Go ahead. Ooh, and then clothesline takes him down. Just repeated shots to the head. Taurus would get some momentum back on his side, and he's pissed. Uh oh, we know what's next. That was a massive power slam. I'm sorry for pausing, pausing it. I, something has been bugging me, and I want to check it. Okay, he does have a spear. Is that okay? <laughs> I'm just checking. Come on, Tartaros. Let him in there. Could this be it? Is he gonna... Oh, Maintenance reverses it. Lifts him up and throws him towards the casket. Tosses him in there. Mantis trying to close the lid on Tardos' life, but he's gonna fight for it. Gonna be breathing a sigh of relief. Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. Picking up the steel steps. Oh, tried. Uses it, but Mantis picks him up. Oh my God! Johnson, oh, I'm hitting the baseball bat. Oh God! Uh -oh. Tide was saying, "I ain't going to sleep just yet." Bashing his head against the casket, and no, it doesn't do it again. Puts him in there. Could he keep maintenance in there? He, oh, he did it! Maintenance didn't even use his resiliency. But Tardaros lives! Finally, the carnage of this casket match has come to an end. A petrifying final moments to this match. Watching someone struggle for their life.
Might as well stay in the casket and take a nap at this point. That? Now come on, Charles. You need to break that damn mask. Oh my god. That was amazing. Thought to never be done. That was really good. Alright. And that was the main event. Wait, huh? Wait, what's going on? No, maintenance won, so he's not dead. Well, hold on. Maintenance is. Not maintenance. Tartarus is walking back over to the casket. He's walk. Hold on, let me get the cameras back on. Hold on. Why the hell is Tardros opening the casket again? Hold on. Yeah, he's opening the casket back up. Hold on, I got the cameras back. Tartaros just shattered you can thank Ezra for that Ezra animated it thank you but Tartaros just shattered Maintenance's mask He opened the casket and punched him one last time and shattered his mask. Oh, I didn't know that was possible. I didn't even know that. I didn't know he can do that. I did it either. Oh, I'll play it again. Oh, hold on. Ignore that match. Universe Mode Super. Yeah, I'll play it again. There you go. Hey, I'll play it again. That's the thing. Maintenance can't die. Like, he has that title shot next week. So it's like, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, yeah, to, like, I don't know what's going to happen now. He's, uh, Yes, that mask was the source of Maintenance's power. So, like... I don't know. Like, simulate this match. I don't know why this is here. Go away. Yourself. 
Okay. Weird ass game. And please tell me that did not get rid of your money in the bank. Why did that get rid of me? No, we no. <laughs> you didn't earn that. Stop it. The Empress of Tomorrow. Look like Tardis again with the suit. I don't know what he's gonna look like. I'ma be honest. <laughs> Redmonds of the fast forward. <laughs> yeah, and from what I understand about the mass, if it's on for a long time, the source is actually corrupted. It's not like we'd have two Tartarus. No, like <laughs> it's impossible to have two Tartarus. <laughs> but I guess for this, I don't need this here. So like, get rid of you. But yeah. No, I don't know what's gonna happen. This has never happened before. But yeah, it, it deleted some matches, and I hate it for that. But yeah, the EXE started off the show. Maybe? No way to take a piece. Oh my god. Yeah, Knuckles is fine. He's just at the hospital with Pi. Yeah, we're in a state of unknown. I don't know what he's gonna look like, what's gonna happen. Yeah, we just have to figure out next week what the hell that's gonna come from since he's the number one contender for the title. But yeah, ENC beat Knuckles. Von Breaker almost lost. <laughs> that would have been disappointing. <laughs> Uncle Howdy. Surprisingly beating Macho Man. Glitch beating Umaga, obviously. Austin Theory's team pinning Robert Roode, even though they should have pinned Pi, even though he's a beast, apparently can't be pinned easily. Um, Maintenance won this, as we saw that, that not in the count. Retardos protected his life, so I would say it's very least going forward, maintenance and Tardos are still gonna exist together. Oh no, it was. The game just wanted to delete it for some reason. That's on top about the glitches. It's like, man. <laughs> huh? Okay, interesting. <laughs> Ray versus Hercule. The muscle match. You might get a match at one point. Boogeyman, the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? But yeah. Also, I want to show you guys this, because this is funny to me. 58 over. <laughs> I was also going to be sad. <laughs> I love Tardo. <laughs> you just know he's pissed Tardo I spoke to man. Oh, absolutely. Maintenance ain't done with him. Not the nipples. <laughs> Why you gotta say that? <laughs> oh, I would have cried. <laughs> Yeah, what's the news? Yeah? We saw that. We know. <laughs> we know maintenance is injured. <laughs> yeah, Megaloid also got an injury during that match. That. Sadly. I wasn't in there for long enough to get an injury! What do you mean? The Rock beat my ass that badly? 
Austin Theory suffered one, and Pi obviously Pi suffered one. Also, looking at this, that means uh, you multiple people can get an injury in one match. Oh yeah, it was in war games. But this still proves multiple people can get injured in one match. Nah, Pi's wandering the streets right now. He doesn't know what a hospital is. <laughs> Ezra? Huh? <laughs> oh yeah, because I just gave you it. <laughs> wait, huh? wait, no, that says wins e I just want to explain yourself. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> okay. Alright, power rankings. I don't care, Xavier Woods. Yeah, I, yeah. That, that, I guess makes sense. Maintenance and Macho on top, then glitched. Yeah, he should be up here. But why are you up here? Okay. Uncle Howdy and Bray together, EXC, Austin, Jimmy, and Tony, and other. Why are you guys up here? This will get sorted out eventually. This is definitely not what it should be. <laughs> hey, Tardos, the lone survivor. The Steven, Umaga, Axiom. Becky Lynch, Tyler Breeze, Pies, number 49. Arrows, 55. Angel, Duh. Bray Wyatt. God damn it, Matt. Whistleblower. God, that render. Yeah, it hasn't exactly organized itself yet. Bye, Knuckles. Damn, Jack's all the way down here. Draco's all the way down here. So is Bailey. Now he's even low in the 200s. Well, there's Esther. Alistair. Sakura, 226. Hi, Nathan. You're kidnapped. I... I forgot about you, to be honest. Yeah, where is Saloa? This sprinkles 249. And this coffin and Nina. Oh, there's Solo. 260. Who's dead last? That's not one. Ah, you know that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think he's gonna stay at the bottom. <laughs> Good 
to me. It's all right, just checking stuff. She's good to me. Oh, you missed Tardos winning. And saving his own life, basically. Do anything else? Besides, next week is the next show. And next week is when the other votings are due. And then the 11th is Votathon. So, be ready for that. It was fun. I had fun. Besides all the glitches. But you know what? 2K gonna 2K. At least there. What the hell? Oh yeah, I did simulate like a year. Yeah. Yes, the next station stream is next week. And yes, I'm just going through the teams because I can. But hey, here they all are. I know there are some matches like The Rock and Glitch. I'll probably do Jacob and. Yeah, Jacob versus Goku. Machio versus Maintenance. And then Pyrotechnics versus. AJ Styles and Sonoma, I can't do that one. Um, I'll do Ezra and David versus Pyrotechnics and then. Oh, uh, what now? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Game? How about you delete that? What do you mean I deleted both? What do you mean I deleted both? Well, they're not a tag team anymore. <laughs> They ain't team no more, I guess. Hey, look at them. And they don't exist no more. Oh, yeah, I guess. There's a few more I can make for this. Cause I have Jacob and Econ. You know, don't worry about it. Actually, I think doing that fixed it. Nope, they're gone forever. Oh well. You guys are fighting next week. That's where. <laughs> And then, oh yeah, when the two AVs are made, that's... They'll basically just be put into a title match or number one contenders match immediately. No more me just running away with why Sith group happening. I mean, it, was, it can still happen. 
They can still happen with how many Bray Whites there are. So like, that'll be put eventually. <laughs> That was just the first. These are just the first ones I wanted here, like now. And then, yeah. Fucking NWO bastards. Yeah, I think that's it. Right? Boom, 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 boom. I said the match for the next week. What song do we want to end it on? So many people try to imitate what we do. AJ's theme? It's Chelsea. I'm a hot mess world. Why not? We'll do AJ's theme. That's what we ended on. But actually, I could do a Votathon song. Ah, yeah, that's a Votathon. Anyways, that's it. I'll show the matches in the Discord on what's next week. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I will remember later. Probably not. Remember to vote for the Votathon stuff. That's it. Farewell. I don't know how to end videos. With the promise strength. Ain't nobody man enough to feel the pain. And you can be next. You better give respect. Cause ain't nobody breaking this red neck. Ain't nobody man enough to